hi welcome back to Leslie Crafts and um, this is the last card we're doing for um, me with Nadia and with you as my viewers um, eventually once all these videos have gone out um, hopefully you've enjoyed the last five um, and this is the sixth one now this one looks complicated but trust me I saw it on Pinterest and I worked it out so it can be that complicated to write in it. So I will show you them out of packaging and I just think these are absolutely sweet. So they're like little banners which you can have hanging and you can write a message on, on the back. And I just think, you know, we don't have to say much. You know, this one says uh, Holly Jolly in the middle. And that's it so you know these are just I think are just really sweet um, gifts as well as cards obviously you can make them as long as you wish but um, the picture on um, in on, on Pinterest was only free so this is my Care Bear one so again, you know, you look at wall hanging, you can add your message on the back. Um, you know, you can do all sorts with these. So, so that is first two there. So I'm going, obviously going to do one on camera. Now, there is a little bit of cutting on this one but trust me it is all all simple all simple fitting so you want to start off at three inches and you want to cut these down there you go so you'll end up with two strips of three inches put them together making sure they're all lined up and then you want to cut again at three inches and you will get three out of them and then you'll get a little square so just put a little square to one side these are what bits you want so you'll end up with six pieces of card at three inches you want to get your white and you want to do this at two and three quarters by two and three quarters and again you'll get three down the size of the A4 piece of paper. So that is literally your cutting. Right, you? Um I've done that and then I am going to go down a level just to add a little bit more interest and I'm going to do these at two and a half by two and a half and I've got three different ones so, so you can layer these up or you can keep it as simple as I have done on the other one I might end up not using these but I just thought that I might give it a try. So even if you don't use these scraps, you can use them. You know, if we don't use these, I will do a bonus video of how we can use them. Okay. So what I do before I even add anything to them, I just lay them like that on my mat. Then I put my base on. Obviously with the other two I haven't done a third mat. So on this one I have. So I might change the dynamic diam. Might change the effect of my card. And I've picked all pink and I've got yellow ribbon. Fine, I've got pink ribbon in my ribbon so I might just switch out the pink 
switch out the yellow for the pink. So that is sort of my base of my card and then I'm just going to get my stickers and my words and things like that and I'm just going to see whether or not I should put any even though I've covered all three the others you don't have to I might just cover the, this one here because the other two are quite busy um, so which is fine um, yeah I think I might just do that so I'm just going to put my sticker on here and I've just dropped my pokey tool and I'm just going to cut off the excess and right, I'm going to leave that on there and then I've noticed that I've got duplicates of these stickers. I'm going to use I'm going to use the light bulbs just to bring in some yellow so I can use my yellow ribbon. Because I'm lazy and I can't you know get up. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. I don't know whether or not to add anything onto that one. I might add I've got some little letters here um, because I've got letters at the top I might just add these letters here and I might just do it so it's like um, in sort of a cluster maybe I don't like that. So, you know, sometimes you have an idea in your head, and you know, because obviously I've changed this up from the others, you know, just so you can have an idea that you, you know, even though the others are quite, yeah, that's okay, get some gems on there, even though these two are got no matting they still look really good and but even with a matting it looks good so you can do either either way either way is fine so I'm just going to make sure that these are all stuck um, I might just put some of the parts on here with some gems and that's it from so like my sweetheart is giving off a little loops. No, don't like that. So don't be afraid to try something out, see what it's like and go, nah. Because what's in your head doesn't always work on paper. And at the end of the day, you haven't ruined every, anything. I might just leave that one blank and then do that. I think that's not too bad. So I'm just going to stick these down. So you want to put double sided tape on all of these. Just leave your six pieces just to one side to begin with. And then just put your double sided tape on here. like so and again you double sided tape on here so this is I wouldn't say boring bit but it's like watching paint dry but it's all part of the process okay 
there we go, my PC is going a bit. So you just want to get these and you just want to put them on to your white blanks. And you just want to make sure that these are as um, centered as possible. So We've all got the same border around, so that's even better. So, just like so. And there we go. And then you just want to take, keeping your squares together, you just want to take these and pop them, pop them on the top. And again, making sure that they're all centered. Just like so. And at this point in time, it doesn't matter which one goes on what. Um, Just do that. Just do that like that. And then you want to separate your tops to your bottoms now. Oops. And then what you want to do is you want to put tape down the centre. Well, not the centre centre, but down there on all on all of them um, because that's where your ribbon's going to be attached to so like I said I'm just gonna stick with my I'm just gonna stick with my yellow and then I'm just gonna lay line these up and then I'm gonna get my yellow ribbon and then I'm just going to take one side off to begin with and then I'm just going to lay my ribbon down so it catches on the double sided tape and you want to leave a gap this is my most hardest bit because you want it all line, as lined up as you can really and it is difficult um, so, and then, without pulling this, you want to line this one up as well. Try and keep the same gap on all of your um, bits. And then you want to turn it over because you want to loop it at the top. And then you want to take your tape off and go down the other side just like so and then you just want to make sure you pull these in so do that and do that and then I'm just going to grab my fabric scissors I'm just going to cut that off Okay, so that is your base of how you're going to put it together. So then you want to get these here and then you want to put double sided tape on the back. Just like so. And then you want to make sure you get them in the order you know that you want them in. 
if you forget it's a good idea to take it take a copy with your phone I'm just going to cut that a little bit off copy with your phone and then you can refer to your phone when you're putting stuff back together and you want to get this as close to being aligned as you can I, I'm very hit and miss when I do this um, to the point where some of them aren't exactly aligned and you can't really cut them off just the nature of the beast so try to do um, try and get one side aligned and then you should be able to just flop the others into place. She says and totally misses that one. But it's fine. Unless people are absolutely eagle eyed and look, then it'd be fine. And then again just do the same with this one. And just do that one. So that is how that one looks. And again, you just want to add your little jemmies. And I'm just going to pick up my pokey tool. Oh, dropped it again. And then I'm just going to add some of these um, gems. Now I know I have lots of different colours in here so I can do quite a few different ones. Maybe not red because obviously um, just the nature of the beast really. I'm just going to do some. I might be able to go away with red on here, on the top one actually. Kind of <clears throat> excuse me, thinking about it. pink just put these little red ones on some of the love hearts just in the corner of that one I reckon and there we go so that one is all done as well so so that is the six cards and again I'm just going to um I don't know if I can get that one. There we go, do like that. So that is the six the six cards that we have made in the series. Um I hope Nadia this has helped you to start crafting and that um, you like the cards I can't wait to see what your cards look like to me um, so you will be getting a I would say depending if you want a specific set um, I might just send you um, some of them you know the random ones so but you'll get one of each anyway so that is the three cards or little plaques if you want to call them that so that is that one there so um thank you for um watching so as you can see um obviously i've done three of each kind but it just gives you an idea of how quick your um card collection can um, get up quite quickly so um, thank you for watching um, I hope this has helped an idea and um, I can't wait to swap with you so um, we will see you again very very soon okay thank you bye